All right, guys, so we're in the first period here. Got the puck with Andrew Cogliano here. He's going to walk it in, and it goes off Backstrom's glove and in, making it a 1-0 game. Still about five minutes into the period here. Joffrey Lupul takes the shot. Backstrom the save. The rebound tucks it home there, making it a 3-0 game. And then with 14 minutes left in the first here, we go up 4 nothing on this guy, and he had enough after that. He rage quits at 4-zip. 14-14 uh, remaining in the game, 4 nothing. There we had a we scored three times on a a, a five minute major penalty he took, but uh, yeah, that's just a lesson. Don't quit, guys, and uh, don't wear dark jerseys when the other guys are wearing dark. You look like a douchebag. But uh, now take a look, a quick look at the stats here. Um, outshot him ten to one. Uh, we were out of hit. We out attacked him. His passing was better just because he made less. He took twenty penalty minutes. We had five because of a fight. Um. Uh, he he didn't win a single draw. And, uh, yeah, and then there are no three stars, but uh, we do pick up the win, and uh, happy about that. So uh, I will meet you guys at the next game with our next opponent. All right, guys, going into our next game here against um, Ramuski, trying to pick up a uh, second win of uh, Division uh, Division 6 here. Uh, just trying to go unbeaten here, stay hot, and, um, you know, hopefully just, uh, just keep playing the way we are. Only one season's lost so far, trying to keep that up. So uh, I will meet you guys after the game with all the highlights. All right, guys. So we're in the first period. We got the puck down low. Pass in front. Camilleri is gonna bury that, making it a one nothing game. And right here, Kevin Klein. He's gonna walk in and fire one top shelf pass. Limback making it a two nothing game. And right here, he's got the puck. He passes it to Miele, and he puts it in past Brzezgala, making it a two one game. And we move to the third, and this was a gong show. Cogliano in front to Everly, making it a 3-1 game. Right here, he's going to send one across here, and then it's just going to go in off Monaghan there, making it a 3-2 game. Right here, we've applied pressure on the forecheck here. Cogliano's going to get in. He's sniping at top shelf, making it a 4-2 game. And right here, Puck loose in the corner. He picks it up with Pruss, sends it in front, and Gostad scores, making it a 4-3 game. And right here, we got the puck of Victor Stahlberg. Stahlberg's going to walk in and tuck it home past Lindback, making it a 5-3 game. And right here, he's got the puck with Paul Gostad. He's making the drop pass, and that's going to go between the 5-hole of Brizgala, making it a 5-4 game. However, he wouldn't get any closer as uh, Camilleri is just going to throw one in the empty net. They're making it 6-4, and that would be your final score. So uh, after he combined three goals through the first two periods on both sides, uh, this guy and I lit up the scoreboard for uh, six in, or seven in the final frame. So um, not too proud of that effort, but uh, nevertheless, uh, we did get the win. As you take a look at the shots here, shots were even, hits were not. We were pretty physical, usually the other way around. We were out attack today, which or in this game, which surprised me. Our passing was pretty brutal. Uh, he was over two on the power play. We didn't get a shot on the power play. Um, Face-offs are almost even. We did have a one-timer goal, and we did have an empty netter. And now we're going to go to the three stars game. Third star is Drew Stafford. He picked up two goals for him. Second star is also uh, his guy, Paul Gostad, a goal and two assists. And then Mike Camilleri picking up the first star, putting in two. So um, overall, uh, the third period could have went a lot smoother. Um, we just couldn't pull away. We were just going back and forth with the goals. But um, we did end up getting the win. So um, I'm going to move on to the next game, guys, and I will meet you guys there. All right, guys, as you can see here, we made a quick pickup here. We picked up Carl Hagelin. He's going to go on our second line. I had to move Lupul down, unfortunately. But, um, you know, we're going to see how Hagelin plays out. Um, he's a pretty solid card from what I've heard, so um, we're just going to give him a shot, and uh, we're going to go into another game here, and I'll meet you guys there. All right, guys, going into our next game here, facing off against uh, Renato something. I didn't quite catch all that, but um, hoping Hagelin can... Uh, Bring us some good luck here as we go into the uh, third game here of Division 6, trying to pick up another big win. And as always, I will be on the back end of this game to meet you guys with all the highlights. Right here, guys, we got the puck with uh, Craig Smith here in the first period. He's going to make a nice little move. Throws it on that. Joffrey Lupel puts the rebound in, making it a 1-0 game. And right here, Ryan Nugent Hopkins wins the tie-up, gets it back, and it's deflected in by Jordan Everly, making it a 2-0 game. And right here, he's got the puck with Andre Sakara here. Passes it to Datsuk. He goes 5-1 on Brzezgalov, making it a 2-1 game. 
And right here, he got the puck with Jerome McGinley. He's working it down low, and then he's going to snipe a top corner, making it a 3-1 to one game. Right here, he's got the puck down low with Datsuk. Passes in front, and that goes past Brzgalov, making it a 3-2 to, a three to two game. Right here, Sean Monaghan got a penalty shot, and he's going to go in, and he guessed semi-right, I guess. I don't know, but it's a 4-2 to two game. And right here, he's got the puck with Mark Edward Vlasic. He fires one, and it barely trickles past Brzgalov, making it a 4-3 game. But he wouldn't pull any closer, and that was your final score. So, um... Game. This one was kind of like the last one. Uh, kind of turned up the scoring and turned up the scoring in the third, but um, they were able to hold on in the end. As you can see, we're outshot there by two, out hit by four, out attacked by, um, you know, a little over thirty seconds, about thirty five seconds there. Um, passing our passing was a little better than his. Um, he went one for two on the power play. We were over two. Um, Faceoffs. He won. You know the better half of those, and he also had a one-timer goal. But we did have a penalty shot goal, and that ended up being the difference. Now we move on to the three stars of the game. Third star of the game is uh, Pavel Datsuk with a goal and an assist. Second star Michael Grabner, also his with a goal and an assist. And the first star Sean Monahan getting that uh, shootout or the uh, penalty shot goal, which did give us the win. So I will be meeting you guys with our next opponent here. Hopefully we can make it four in a row in uh, in DC. Okay. All right, guys, so we're going into our next uh, game here. We're going up against Sco Blues here. Uh, that was his team nine. Didn't catch his gamer tag, but uh, we're looking for our fourth consecutive win here in D6, trying to uh, stay unbeaten in D6 so far and keep our one-loss record going. So, uh, as always, and as I always say way too much, I'll be on the back end of this one giving you guys the highlights. So we're in the first period here. He's got the puck down low. Uh, Skinner with it. He's going to fire that one top shelf. Pass for his guy making a one nothing game. Right here, he's got the puck with Turris here. He's going to carry it up. He spins and makes a pass here. Brzgalov just gets caught way out of position there. Makes it a 2 nothing game. Right here, we got the puck with Nugent Hopkins. He's going to come in, make a move. That's a big goal right there, making it 2-1. to one. Unfortunately, another defensive lapse here. And Skinner walks in and scores, making it a 3-1 game. And right here, we got the puck down low here. Shot there, rebound. Everly will tap that in, making it 3-2. Right here, one more defensive lapse here. Wheeler's going to walk it in and dangle Brzgala out there, making it a 4-2 game. And right here, Nugent Hopkins comes up the wing. He's going to send one across, finds Camilleri, making it a 4-3 game. And right here, 46 seconds left. Camilleri has the puck, sends it across. Lupul throws it in, tying it up late in the third. Then an OT, the, the wheels fell off, bad turnover, and then Brzgala lets in a terrible goal there. Ending the game, and we lose in overtime. I mean, the the play that led to it was bad. Uh, we are coming off a, a PK, and um, we just, uh, you know, I sent it up to Jordan Everly, and he got his stick lifted. It ended up dropping his stick altogether, so he was out of the play. And then our D just didn't hold up, and Brzgalov let in a terrible goal. But what are you going to do? We still do get a point, however. Um, we outshot him. The hits were close. We out-attacked him. We outpassed him. We took less penalties. We scored more on the power play. We dominated the face-offs. I mean, it's the breakaways is where we lost the game right there. Um, that's that's all there is to it. Um, you know, what are you going to do? But um, three stars of the game. He's got all three here. Uh, TJ Oshie with a goal, Blake Wheeler, two goals and an assist, and the first star, Jeff Skinner, with two goals and an assist as well. So, unfortunately, we do take the loss here, but um, I guess it's all right. Um, we still do get a point, and um, hopefully uh, we'll just be able to move on here. It, game five is a big game. we got to win, but, um, you know, we're five points off promotion, five points in six games, very doable. So I will meet you guys at the next game. Hey guys, so really quick, I just want to let you guys know something here. Um, the video started out really weird. That's because um, my camera decided to delete um, some of the footage from this episode. I'm really sorry about that. It deleted like the first couple of clips. So if it just restarts somewhere, if it starts somewhere funny, it should start in the middle of one of the games. Um, just, you know, you'll see the final score anyway. But um, yeah, I just want to make you guys aware that uh, there was a screw-up with my phone, and it deleted the wrong stuff, so it took out about maybe four or five clips. I'm a little upset about that, but I don't know. 
I'm gonna have to look at it and see because um it's fucked up. But it, um we're going into another game here. Going up against the uh, Holy Dangles or Delik the Kid. Just uh, trying to recover here. We got Martin Jones in that, so hopefully he'll uh he'll provide a bit of a spark here. Keep the pucks out and I'll meet you guys afterwards. Alright guys, well in the last game I played there was no score, but uh, the guy had connection issues and I think he just timed out on me. So um we did get the win and uh, didn't really waste too much of my time anyway. And uh one step closer to the D five promotion. So uh I'm gonna head into another game and I'll meet you guys there with the opposition. Alright guys, so in this game we're going up against uh Yiko here, trying to get the win here, at least a point. A point would uh, secure us the D six uh promotion to or the D six promotion to D five, and then uh a win would uh, put us not only uh Guaranteeing us that promotion to Division 5, but it would put us one point away from the Division 6 title, which is what we really want. That's where the pucks lie. So, I will meet you guys after the game with all the highlights. Alright guys, so we're in the first period here. He picks up the puck with, I believe that's Hansel. Then they get it there. That's just poor defense right there. There's nothing else to say there, making it one nothing. Right here, puck up along the boards. A puck that should have gotten out doesn't, and Brzezgalov gets caught out of position, making it a 2 nothing game. However, we would kind of get it back here. Lupul pass across. Camilleri claps that one home, making it 2-1. to one. Just as we got started, the comeback ends as Ryan O'Reilly puts it in under a minute left, making it 3-1, and that would be the final score. We didn't have it in this game. Uh, the stats will show that. Um, we weren't winning face-offs. We... You know, we did have uh, only goals on the power play. But, I mean, the shots weren't there. The defense wasn't there. But, yeah. So, we go to the three stars. Now, he gets all of them. O'Reilly with a goal. MacArthur with a goal. And Kopeski with two assists. I mean, we just got to start playing better. Brzezgalov's fatigued again, so we're going with Jones. But, um, basically, we, sh we should have been out of this division already. We had two bad losses. Uh, this one and the OT loss, we should have had. But, um, can't win them all, unfortunately. So uh, we're gonna, just going to go into the next one, hopefully, and we'll uh, pick that one right back up. All right, guys, going into the next game here, playing up against, uh, uh, I didn't catch his name, but his team name is Bronx. So I'm um, trying to get this win back here with uh, Martin Jones and Nett, just uh, trying to just pull a point closer to that uh, that uh, <laughs> that Division Six title here. Um, it's basically three points in four games, very doable. But it starts right now, so I'll catch you guys in the back end of this one with all the highlights. Alright guys, so we're in the first period here. We got the puck with Andrew Cogliano along the boards. He passes in front. Nugent Hopkins denied there. Everlay scoops up the rebound and backhands it in, making it a one nothing game. And right here, we kind of turned it over here. Jones with the stop here. Then he hugged the post, and Broussard wrapped it around, making it a uh, one to one game. No scoring in the third, so we head on to overtime. Nugent Hopkins with a poke check. Everlay backhands it in for his second of the game, ending the game in OT. Nugent Hopkins, his second assist of the night. And we go on to win 2-1. to one. Uh, The score, uh, well, the, the stats show that uh, we really should have won that game, and we did deserve it. Um, outshot him by 11, outhit him by 2, outattacked him by uh, quite a margin there, almost 9 minutes. Um... Our passing was way better than his. Uh, took one less penalty. Didn't say much. He won more draws than we did. But, uh, yeah, t take a quick look at the three stars here. Cam Talbot uh, picking up that third star there. He had a solid performance here. Nugent Hopkins, second star of the game there with the two assists. And Jordan really picking up the first star with the two goals. So we do move within one point of the Division Six title. And I will meet you guys at the next game with, hopefully, our final opponent of the episode. Alright guys, heading into what hopefully will be the final game of the episode here. Going up against Anthony93 Big Red. Trying to pick up the last point we need to get to the um, to get to the Division 6 title. Trying to move up to D5. That would be huge. But um, I just do want, I still do want to apologize for the, uh, the beginning of the video being cut off. I think it's going to start maybe four clips ahead of what it should have been. Um, I don't know. I guess I'll find out when I upload it. There's no way, way for me to edit it, which pisses me off. My phone just kind of screwed up. But um, I hope you guys uh, have enjoyed so far. I hope you guys have enjoyed Bound, to Glor Bound for Glory so far. And I will meet you guys after the game with all the highlights. All right, guys. So we're in the first period. We got the puck with Smith at the point. Craig Smith, he's going to light one up from the point. 
making it a one nothing game. And right here, Carl Alsner's got the puck. He's going to send it down to Nyquist, who's going to make a dirty backhand move there. Puts it past Harding, making it a 2 nothing game. And right here, we got the puck with Victor Stahlberg. Stahlberg comes in. He's going to fire one. That would make it 3 nothing, and that was three goals in 1 minute and 31 seconds in game time, making it a 3 nothing game. Second period, however, he would get one back here. Granlin comes in, and he beats Brzgalov. He makes it a 3-1 to one game. Raiders right got the puck with MacArthur along the boards. He tried to defend it. We couldn't, and then the puck just five holes Brzgalov, and uh, that makes it a 3-2 uh, to two game. Third period now, we got the puck with Smith here. He's going to make a nice little move, and then he's firing on top shelf, making it a 4-2 to two game. And right here, puck along the boards with Andrew Cogliano. He passes it. Eberle, the backhand finish there, making it a 5-2 game. And right here, loose puck picked up there, thrown to the net, and it's just tipped in there by Cogliano, making it a 6-2 game. And that would be your final score. So we win the Division 6 title. We are going to be moving on to Division 5 here. We've won every title so far. We look to keep that trend going. But um, anyway, here are the stats. Outshot him 29-16, out hit him 29-19. Out attacked him 909 to 345. Uh, our passing was a, was slightly better percentage wise. Our 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 penalty we took 21 penalty minutes, but 15 of those came with 54 seconds left on a uh, on a game misconduct. Um, he did go 0 for 4 on that power play. 19 to 9 in the draws, and each of us got a breakaway. So now we move on to the three stars of the game. Uh, third star of the game, Victor Stahlberg picking up a goal and an assist. Second star of the game is Kyle Quincy picking up three assists, and then Craig Smith with two goals and a dime as well. Plus three, plus three, plus three. So that's that's fourth line guys, and then a third, a sixth defenseman there. So um, that's a really solid win there. But um, that's the end of the episode, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and it takes a second out of your day. Um, stay tuned for more NHL 15 Bound for Glory. The next episode should probably be some Division Five gameplay. Not really sure where we're going with that, but um, as you see, 26-2 and one. That's not bad, eh? So, um, anyway guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all later.